For more information on the spirit of giving in the Northwest, head to the Family Matters section at KATU.com. The spirit of giving sometimes necessitates a dramatic life change. Our next hero knew she had to transform her life, not for her, but for her elderly mother. Venka Weber's mother needed her care. I wasn't going to be alive to take care of her if I didn't do something about my weight. It started over 40 years ago. I knew that I was overweight because I used to get called fat when I was in elementary school. I think the hardest thing was just interacting with kids as I grew up because people didn't want to be around me. But that was then. You ready? Go and grab your handle. Now half her original weight, Venka has a very personal goal. Well, I have a goal for January 1st to get into a size 8 pants. That's a fraction of the size 28 pants she wore just over two years ago. Thanks in part to her personal fitness trainer, Jason Parsons. The first time I saw Venka, she came in to me and sat down, and I could tell immediately by her body language and the way that she was just very, very, very noticeably uncomfortable that she needed help but was afraid to ask for it. We sat down and went over her goals and the things she wanted to achieve with herself. And I made it clear from the very get-go I would be there to support her and assure her success as long as she trusted that I had her best intentions at heart. When we come to the gym, Venk and I work on the exercises and the stretches and the cardio exercise. We talk about her food from the logs that she brings into me. But I would say today, three out of five times that I see Venka, we focus on things such as things that are stressing her in her life. I write down everything I eat every day. And then when I saw Jason, I would give him my book and he would read it and go through and decide, you know, we'd decide which could have been, a, what could have been a better choice. You could tell that there was caring, compassion, concern. There was no judgment. It was, what do you want to do? What can I do to help? Venka needs to know I'm always here to support her, not just the one hour she comes and sees me, but all the time because life happens all the time, not just when she's in the gym. Hey, Mom. Now Jason helps Venka's 83-year-old mother, Bernadine, build her strength. She works out too, so her arms are getting stronger. So it also makes it easier for me because I don't have to lift her up off the chair. She gets herself up out of her wheelchair. My goals as a personal trainer and now as a manager of personal trainers is to effectively influence as many people as I can in a positive manner that helps to change their lives towards what they want. I started as a trainer because I knew some things from books I read or classes I'd taken that I could give to others to help them with their exercise. And as I've gone through the past 13 years of doing this, I've come to find that it goes beyond that in such a large manner that working with people and showing compassion and caring for them allows me to really change their whole life, not just their athletic abilities or their physical body but so much more. I think everybody needs support when they're working on getting physically fit or weight loss, whether it's a friend, a trainer. I have kind of a combination of both. I mean, I've worked with Jason long enough that he is a friend and a trainer. When we first brought you Venka's story last December, we promised to update you if she fit into her size 8 jeans by January 1st. We're happy to report that Venka did fit into those size 8s. Coming up next on Family Matters. I get paid by the smiles of the children. Meet 91-year-old Grandpa Charlie, who 